Here's a short piece filmed by Meridian about my novel Host, which came out in 1993 and which caught fire in the haunted house I used to live in, which I used as the model for The House on Cold Hill. Hello again. The best-selling Sussex horror writer Peter James has just claimed a world first. The author has published an electronic novel. It's a spine chiller on a floppy disk. He says it's the beginning of a new age in publishing. Alan Rook's been to visit him at his home near Brighton. Clayton Manor, home to Peter James. A man who likes to frighten people. Joe was wholly unprepared for the stench. It was the smell of forgotten meat left in the trunk of a car for a month. Then he saw his father's face and a cry tore itself free from his throat. A passage from Host, the world's first electronic novel. But exactly what does that mean? You actually get two books in one. You've basically got the novel Host and you've also got a non-fiction textbook for like accompanying it. All the way through the electronic version, anything that I think the reader might like to know more about, I've simply underlined the word and all the reader has to do is literally point the mouse and click on it and they get all the sort of research subtext. Host is the story of a brilliant scientist who wants to live forever. And he thinks that if he could create a computer that was smart enough to actually take the entire content of a human brain and he could actually copy the content of his brain into that computer. And even after his physical body's died, he could live on in a kind of virtual world inside the machine. Peter James has written nine supernatural chillers, translated into 22 languages. They're all bestsellers, and several are now in television and film production. But what frightens him? The scariest thing of all is to write a scene in which, for instance, you think you're alone in the house. Suddenly you hear a door handle turn or a footstep beneath you. I very much wanted to try and create a Frankenstein for the 1990s. All the fears of technology. Shivers rippled down his skin. He gripped the handle tighter, listened, tried to tune out the rain and concentrated on the door, on the passage beyond. He counted silently. One, two, three. 